G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Frostpunk. We are back playing Frostpunk on the Edge, the new DLC from 11-Bit Studios. Thanks again 11-Bit Studios for giving us a copy of the DLC. And it is available effectively now, thereabouts, 20th of August. Uh, so go check Steam and if it's available, chuck your coin down and grab it. You won't be disappointed. Remembering again, it is not an easy DLC is not even meant to be easy uh, and in saying that this series as you would know probably already we are this is the second series on the DLC the first one we failed miserably we got banished anyway we uh, are continuing on again and we're doing it at the lower difficulty level now just to sort of see how we can go with that so let's stop jabbering on let's get into it all right so where we left off in the last episode uh, we've just got a gathering post over here to collect some more wood and also some coal. I do want to put another one over here because there is coal over here and also some more wood. We do want to get all that as quick as we can, uh, basically to get the coal stockpile. I want a good stockpile of coal. Um, that's certainly one of the things we need to do. We still need to build one uh, tent or one building for our homeless. We've got 10 homeless people. And we need to start making sure we can treat our sick. Anyway, that is what we're up to at the moment. We have 20 members of our settlement ready to work in the warehouse when we get back to working day. So uh, let's get into it and see how we go. So we're just going to fast forward a little bit until the start of daytime. And then we will go from there. All right. Uh, research, I'm not sure what we're going to research next, we'll have to have a look at that as well, but there's no point looking at that until we've got some wood under our belt, uh, because uh, we don't have any wood at all, so that's not going to help us. So, but well, what we do want to do, definitely what I want to do first off, is I do definitely want to get uh, that tent built, um, and then we have to look at possibly sending off a sup our supplies for um, London. Now, I think what we should do is we should actually swap that over and on the this work day we should be producing steam cores because we need to send off two of them to the londoners um the greedy greedy gibbons that they are but anyway all right what else we got down here there's a bit of timber down there but i don't think we'll be able to get to that at all so that's that's probably not even going to be coming into our play this is all we've got to deal with. So we've just got to hope that we can get settlements and find it out with our scouts, all that sort of stuff. So we've got to send everyone out and about to get some work done. All right. So that is on. We have 10 people supposedly working there. So they should be starting there very soon. They should be on their way, in fact. Uh, they're on their way up there to the gathering post. So they're starting to gather now. So they'll be gathering wood from there as well. Um, coal, we've got some coal coming in. There we go, the wood's starting to come in now as well. Excellent. All right. There we go, we're going to get to 10 very quickly. So let's get our tent ready to go. Uh, one tent. And again, we're going to put it in an area where it's all sort of commonly linked in. Now, while we're doing that, I'm also going to put the road across there. So I'm just going to link that up to there. I need four wood. Come on. Oops, wrong button. Right, there we go. Now I can do it. Move the road across to there. Very good. Right, now. So that's happening. So that'll fix that problem. Uh, what other problem have we got? Okay, medical post. Five out of five there. Patients are in there. 18 to 22 hours for them to be fitted up. That should be okay. All right, let's see how things go from there. We'll go a little bit quicker ahead. Coal is starting to head up. Right, so I want to get this other... Oh, actually, no, we don't, because I've only got five there. Right, let's have a look and see what we're going to research first. That's probably the next thing to do. So we've got braziers done, which is great. Heaters, I don't really need those as yet, I don't think, because I haven't got the coal to do that. Uh, a coal thumper that's really handy to get coal out of the ground but we're probably not going to need that at the moment um, wooden supports uh, raise work efficiency in the army warehouse 
Work efficiency in the army warehouse has increased by 50% for 12 hours. Uh, that one there, raising output by 20%. I think that might be an option. I think we need to work on that. We need, need to get this supply from here out. Because even if once we do get that, one of the things with this DLC is you also have outposts to serve. Um, as the scouts have returned with our 67 steel and 97 wood. Um, so I'll just pause that there while I talk about this. So you've got to get the outposts uh, found and then you've got to deal with them and you've got to give them stuff basically for them to give you stuff like food. So we really need the steel to develop that plus also doing upgrades and stuff like that. All right, uh, so we've got our scouts out here. Uh, we've got, what have we got? We've got, we've got, we've got the frozen den or we've got the remnants of a building. Um, I might go, oh, hang on, stone walls there, okay, that's all we've got there, it's dead ends that one, frozen den will do, let's head him off to there, or them I should say, right back into here, um, that is continuing, take it off pause, so our research is continuing on through there, if we can get some more research done, the quicker we can get the research done, the quicker we can actually get uh, things built too. Um, in fact, can we actually build a second research bay? Second workshop? We can, seemingly so. Is it worthwhile doing that? Let's do it anyway. Let's give it a go. I'm, just, I'm interested to see whether that's going to help us or not. We can then hopefully research two things at once. Um, we'll just see. It may help us, it may not. All right. We'll find out pretty quick. If not, we'll just lost some resources and we'll get some of them back. All right, we've got one steam core done. Need one more steam core out of these guys, and then we can send off a delivery to London. Um, as you can see, we need 100 steel, two steam cores, uh, and they will send us some raw food. Um not really too trusting of them anyway that's okay all right so what we might do we have got five people sitting over here doing nothing um, we've got to get these ones that are, we've got children that can be used we've got 10 admin officers oh they can't be used uh, so we've got five engineers let's let's put the gathering post out here Um, there, like that, right, and I'll build the road, and then that will at least be ready to go, um, when we do sort of either run out over here, or, or whatever else, so, um, it's getting ready to, to expand, okay, 13 hours to go for them, how far are these guys, these guys along? Hand carts have been researched. Excellent. Right, so that... Over here. Workers, yep, okay. That actually hasn't seemingly changed that at all. So it's still 2.2 .2 per hour. Hmm. Okay. Alright, now they're finishing for the day. Add new research. Let's have a look and see what research we want now. Uh, food, health and shelter. There's nothing there. I think we're going to go drawing boards. Let's see if we can delve into the depths of some research as I press the wrong button again. Alright, now they're ready to go as well. Oh no, it's not. It's still under construction. Waiting for workers because they're working over here. Alright. Let's see how things can go. Let's actually talk to London. Um, we have some problems. Can you help us? We need more wood. We need more coal. Never mind. Um, right. So I've got more coal. Uh, right. Never mind. Can't. I was going to see if we could push them further. But we can't. All right. So we've got a bit of extra coal coming. That'll be fine. That'll help us out a little bit. Right. They're all coming out from work. 
Okay, it's closed at this time of day. We've still only got the one steam core, unfortunately. All right. Now, if I was to put five in there like that, I wonder if it's just one researching item, but it actually researches it quick. Because I've never actually, in all my time playing Frostpunk, I've never actually put two workshops down. So, seemingly, um, it increases the potential work research rate. Um, so, that's that's probably going to help us. But anyway, we'll see how things go. Right, I'm going to speed up time for the night because... We're just going to be sitting idle, doing nothing effectively. Uh, almost finished building over there. Excellent. Haven't got any people to put in there at the moment, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that off. Uh, and we're getting close to work time. Right. Now, uh, Matthew said we can keep going. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. Discontent has raised a little bit, has it? Lack of medical care. Uh, we got less food. Sir, workers unloading the last shipment of food from New London noticed that it's quite a bit smaller than usual. The news is, of course, already all over the outpost, causing much anxiety and anger among our people. Let's hope it's just a mistake, not a sign of some trouble at home. Well, can't say I'm surprised. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Right. Uh, our scouts. It is indeed a large grotto in the darkness filling it. We find lots of animal and possibly human bones bearing teeth marks. We're in the lair of a large predator, probably a bear. Uh, we'll explore. Nothing to do here. We found Crumbling Hut. Alright, let's go to Crumbling Hut then, shall we? Off we go. And back down we go into the depths. First shipment is ready. So the first shipment is ready to be sent to New London. Visit the outpost administration and ask the clerks to open a communication line for you. You'll be able to dispatch the shipment then. Okay. All right. So we have indeed got two steam cores. Let's communicate. Um, no, I don't want to communicate. Never mind. Farewell. Uh, I just need to click on that and send it off. Right. That's off and away. Now, what's this saying? New London. Uh, we're sorry to inform you that due to circumstances beyond our control, your food supply will be reduced until further notice. We assure you that the shipments will return to the agreed size as soon as possible. We hope this inconvenience will not impede your progress. We expect you to keep the shipments on schedule. Keep up the good work. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Don't have time for the talk. Okay. Well, I'm not so suitably happy with that, but anyway. Uh, we acknowledge the dispatch of your first shipment. Well done. These steam cores mean a lot to our people. We are pleased to let you know that we plan to send your food shipments every day. Just keep those steam cores and steel coming. If the supplies you provide are deemed insufficient, we will have to think of some consequences. And remember, if you run into problems, let us know and we'll look for the solution. Yeah, okay. Go away. Right. Sir, the news that New London is pleased to tell us that they'll keep sending us the food they owe is spread among our people, causing a lot of resentment and anxiety. And the vague consequences they threaten us with shall we fail to please them further fan the flames of outrage all everyone is talking about now is how we should use the steam cores to help us first since we found them and have no generator unlike folks in new london again can't say i'm going to argue with them all right let's uh we've got steel 88 i'm going to continue on until i've at least got one steam core again and then we might switch it back over to steel uh these guys over here are continuing to bring in our coal We've got 168 coal stockpile, which is nice. Um, we are about to get a drop in temperature. Now, uh, we have enough coverage for that. I think some of the sick have been looked after as well, which is good. Let's have a look at the sick bay or the medical post. Uh, patients. Oh, they're all children at the moment. That's not so good. But anyway, that'll, that'll be okay. We can work that out. All right. Uh, research so let's have a look in here what's this doing so yeah I think I think the research rate is increased because we've got two of them so let's let's actually turn one off right and yeah so it's given us an extra 30% boost so not much but 
it's it's enough to make a difference. So we'll leave that there for now and just keep that running. All right. Uh, these guys have got 16 hours. Uh, and again, we're just waiting for time to pass. Uh, we still have plenty of food for the moment, which is good. Uh, gathering post over there. The cookhouse. Uh, we have five workers running in the cookhouse. We don't need them in the cookhouse at the moment, so let's put them as none. And let's move them over here. Now uh, get some more coal and some wood stockpiled. Um, I think that's probably important to do. Now, we are getting a bit low on some stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build a resource depot. I'll put that there. So that will just, if the wood gets up to 300 or our coal gets up to, what do we got for coal? Uh, over nine, up to 900, I can at least activate that to have a bit more overflow to, to store that in. Uh, but I'm not so sure whether I'm going to need that or not. All right, research, let's have a quick look. Uh, we can do a bunkhouse, we can do a medical post upgrade. Um, that's probably pretty important to do that one. Uh, resources, mixed crews, uh, army warehouse workers to retrieve steel and steam cores at the same time, although less efficiently. Um, that's not really inspiring enough to me. Um, more scouts, yeah, let's go. More scouts it is. Didn't have to think about that one. Right, so... Okay, so that's also because we got five out of five in there. Why is that saying... Current efficiency, 20%. Is it going to build? Well, oh, they've gone to build. Okay. So we're not running at full efficiency in here because they've gone off to build the um, resource depot. Okay. I'm happy enough with that. I think for the moment, what we could do is I'm going to pull them away from there because we've got wood coming in from here and wood coming in from over here. Uh, so I think if I just do that, I'm going to get wooden coal. So I'm, I'm, oh, helps if I actually turn that facility on. I've done it again. Right. Um, oops. So I'm going to max that out, turn that on. And that means I'm going to get wood and coal from there. Same as I'm going to get wood and coal from here. Um, so that's, that's just beneficial to us. All right. Let's have a look. Uh, resource depot. Uh, Yep, don't need anything from there. Health, medical post we've already got. All right, I think for now, we're probably okay. Oh, we've got some food, so some of our food's arrived. I'm not going to worry about looking after that again now until we drop some rations down. Um, we've got two steam cores now, so let's transition these guys back over to uh, steel. So that's that's good. We've got steam cores, so that's, that's going to help us out. Uh, or alternatively, it gives us enough to send off to London. Not that I really want to do that though either. Uh, the way they've been treating us. Right. So we're back here at 130% efficiency, which is fantastic. They're powering a while. What we got? No, they're off. Um You know what? Let's do it. I'm I'm gonna power through my research. 24 hour shift for the research. Um, temperature is comfortable. So temperature is still 20 degrees. It's going to drop down to minus 30. Uh, but I can, I can probably deal with that. Two of them are going to eat. So we've dropped our efficiency. 80%. Right, thank you. Uh, right get this going 91 percent quicker i can get the research the quicker i can actually make sure we're sort of covering ourselves shipment has reached new london very good right okay so we've got 68 steel more scouts have been researched right can i send another scouts party off i can indeed so let's do another scout party uh, and let's send them down this way all right Right, let's see how we go. Push the envelope a little bit. Right, research. Uh, 133 wood. I've got plenty of wood at the moment. Uh, heating. 
nothing there for upgrading of the heating. I can still do the heaters. Um, resource depot upgrade. Don't need to do that at the moment. Coal thumper, coal mining. I'll have to do coal mining at some point. Charcoal. Um, I don't want to use wood to produce coal. That's a waste. I need uh, wood more than anything else. Mixed crews. No, I don't want to do that either. Um, I could upgrade the housing. Or I can go drafting machines. I think I might just do this. I might go the tier... What is that? Tier 3. Uh, and, and see how we go with that. All right. Again, we're going to fast forward through the night because not much happens at night other than people getting really unhappy and telling me off. Incoming. Uh, more food from New London. Very good. All right. Drafting machines researched. Excellent. All right, look, it's coming together. It's coming together. Right. Uh, crumbling hut. The building once heavily damaged has been repaired to provide some protection against the weather. Smoke is billowing from its makeshift chimney. Survivors. All right, what have we got in here? Explore. Uh, we knock and armed people answer the door, but they lower their weapons when we assure them of our peaceful intentions. We soon find out that we are their last hope. They are emaciated, hungry and sick, and their supplies are running out. We learn from them that previous inhabitants of this place were killed by wild animals. So we can escort the survivors to our outposts. That gets us, what is it, 22 workers, 11 engineers. Or I can send them to the survivors to the outpost. Some of them may die or I can decide their fate later. On, on this occasion, I'm going to send them to the outpost. Hopefully none of them will die. But then I can use the scouts to continue on in their search. So we're going to do that. And... Well, actually, our... Scouts then don't have read journal. Da, 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 da. Um, we knock an arm people. That's what we just read. Thank you. So there isn't anything else now to go explore. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? He's going off to there. I don't need him to go home. Um, maybe we'll head over to Stonewall and just see, just see what happens over there. All right. Let's go back. Yell at me if I've done something wrong there. I, I can't see anything else I could do. Right. Let's uh, take it back off pause and let's continue on again. Uh, research. We've got new research to do, actually. So let's uh, think about what we've got here. Heating. Efficient burners. 33% uh, less coal. I would definitely want to do that. Right. Now, our wood and our steel has dropped down a bit. That's because that's expected because we're just spending money on that. So that's fine. Uh, well, let's get to work. We can't let up now. No, you can't. So let's uh, let's indeed do that. So get back to work. Crack that whip. Right. Um, wood crates. So we still got 21 wood crates there. That's not going to take long to, to grab. Okay, and here we go. So the frost has hit. Now... Minus 30 degrees. Not too bad. Um, these tents are chilly, so I think the common sense thing there is going to be... Put a... Razia, we'll put it there, because that's going to help that gathering post. Um, it's not going to help this one out here, though, so we'll put another one in there as well. Right. Many people are gravely ill. We don't have an infirmary yet. Should we ask New London to address this issue? Um... No, because I don't like New London. So I think we're just going to leave it there for now. All right. Everyone's gone back to work. Very good. All right. Let's, uh, let's see what goes now. So we want some wood to come in. Got some wood coming in. Need to get some steel. I'd like to send next delivery. What's next delivery going to get? More raw food. Um, okay, wood crates depleted. Where was that? Over coal? That's the wood crates over here. 
Right, that research is finished as well. Okay, add new research. Let's have a look. What have we got? Um, lighter scout sleds. 50% uh, faster scouts. Resources. Gathering post insulation. Um, okay. Food, health. I think a medical post upgrade is next. Right, let's do that. Um, right. What have we got? We're not doing too bad. We've got two sick, one gravely. Uh, five being treated. So, um, that's, that's not too bad. I don't mind that so much. Right. Now, let's have a look at our temperatures. Right. They're all happy as Larry there. They're all nice and comfortable. Our workshops are livable, which is good. These are a bit cold out here. They're a bit chilly. Um, right. So the gathering, well, that gathering post there is okay because of that brassier there. Uh, the warehouse is not good. We do need the heaters, I think. I think we might have to look at the heaters. Our coal is building up. Now, that's not going to last too long once we have start having some cold nights. Um, gathering post resources depleted. What was that one for? That's that one over there. Right, so we're going to be able to pull this one down. So we'll dismantle that building there. 90 left there. 397 coal. I think it's time we put them back to work. So put 10 back over in the sawmill. Better make sure we turn it on this time. Thank you. Right. Scouts have reached the remnants of a building. Let's go have a look. Indeed, a large building stood here once. The size and number of chimneys suggested it might have been an inn, but now their collapsed remains are all that stands among snow and ice. Steel and wood by the look of it. Before the frost, there was probably a road here that led from the bay to the plains, and it must have been frequented since there was an inn beside her. The place was undoubtedly nice, at the feet of the mountains with a view of the sea on the horizon. That's all we can guess from the ruins sticking out from under the ice. We've discovered Forgotten Fishery and Nansen's Storm Watch. We have 16 steel and 18 wood, which is bugger all, but it's better than a kick in the head. Right, let's send you guys into Storm Watch. Right, off you go. Another day and nine hours and we should get... Oh, it looks like we've lost one. we lost one, one of each. Possibly. All right. Uh, hopefully they get here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Researching the medical post. That's okay. Uh, we have 70 raw food, 76 rations, which is okay. We're not doing too much with the steel, though, either. Hmm. I'll say that there it goes, it's bumped up a bit. Medical post upgrade researched. Excellent. Right, so. Um, what does that give us? Gives us faster treatment, doesn't it? So all those people here should be treated a lot quicker. Uh, we've got five engineers working in there, which is grand. Right, so that's okay. I think the sick are under control for the moment, so for the we don't have to really worry about that for the better time of anything at the moment. Uh, while this is still running at 24 hours, we need to maximise what we're doing here. Uh, I think... Ooh, 30, 20, infirmary. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do the infirmary. I'm going to use one of these steel, steam cores, I think, and uh, and do that. Right. There we're off. We're off and running there, which is good. Uh, so wood is going to be fine. We, we are burning through the wood quite quickly because of the fact we're actually using it for our research. But, uh, but anyway, so we're going to get to the next starting of our work day. But we are going to then sign off because it is the end of our episode. Right. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have a look at these guys over here. Um, they've just got to the stone wall. There was nothing else there for them to do, was there? So we're going to send these guys to Forgotten Fishery. 
and that'll be the last thing we do in this episode we're going to pause it right there and we'll come back in the next episode for this new workday we're about to start and we'll continue to see how we survive in this frozen wasteland hope you're enjoying this series uh, I am loving being back on Frostpunk and really enjoying the On The Edge DLC from 11-Bit Studios. Again, thanks to them for providing us with a key. Don't forget, 20th of August, it is out. So go and grab it. Go and uh, get your hands on it and come and play it and enjoy it. And leave your comment down below as to, number one, whether you think I've done anything wrong or I done, should have done something differently. And, of course, let me know if you've run out and got the DLC and whether you're enjoying it as much as what I am. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to come join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Uh, details for all those are down below. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And for those subscribers, thank you very much for continuing to subscribe to our channel. And also, if you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well to make sure you're aware of when new videos are made available on the channel. And until next time, take care of yourselves and loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming. And on Frostpunk on the Edge. See you later. Bye.